January 7, and this is Belinda Kimball with Benham Beachfront, my company, um, and this is West Winds 4701, and I'm going to do this tour in one take because I am electronically challenged and I don't think I can edit it together, so we, if you'll bear with me, let's do this, uh, and I'll be quick. This is West Winds. It is a high-rise rental building on the beach at Sandestin. The unit in question is 4701. It's this one. Uh, that balcony right there by the car and this window right here by the lattice, that's the actual unit. So as you can see, it is upper lobby level. And we drove up here in the upper ramp. You can park. I'll turn you around. So you can see the um, bay side of the resort is over there. We are on the beach side. I'll keep turning. Luau there in the distance. All right, so west winds. Drive up the ramp, and you are at the level of your condo. So we're going to go in through these doors. Luggage carts, those are actually double deckered there, so there's eight. Uh, you walk in, and the elevators are there on your right. 4701 Pascal Harbor is what I call it, it's just here on the left, the door at the end of the hall. What I wanted to show you, this is the door out to the pool and beach, is that also on this lobby level, we walked in through this door. So we came in, elevators down this hallway. The first door to your right is also my condo. It's 4708. I call it a line in the sand. It's a one bedroom. And it's sometimes rented by my um, renters in 4701 as an overflow because as a one bedroom it gives them an extra bedroom so you walk in and uh, it's awfully cute but it's very very close to Pasco Harbor which is nice so walk back to the lobby and Pasco Harbor is right here on this one Uh, the interesting thing about the layout is that there are only two units on this hallway. There's this one, also a rental. Then there's a stairwell in between. So there is no unit next to yours. Uh, there's not even a communicating wall. So stairwell, and then you are at the end of this hallway with nobody around. So you have lots of privacy. All right, so you enter into a little foyer area. That's that window you saw from the parking deck. And you turn the corner, and there's the condo. I'm going to turn you back around so you see the door. We just walk through. Close the door. All right, so you're going to come in from the beach, your beach closet is right here. I have everything you need. Beach chairs, cart, umbrellas, uh, toys, nets, floaties, swim diapers, everything you need. Oops, my fingers in the way, sorry about that. Uh, throw your toys, towels on the hooks, uh, and you are Hopefully not going to attract too much sand. All right, so this is the living area. This is the kitchen. We just uh, replaced these appliances a year or so ago. You have everything you need. 
I turn you around here. The dining area is right here. There's extra chairs in the second bedroom. That's the parking deck you just saw. Now, this balcony is higher off the ground than you'd want a kid to pitch off of. So, with small children, you would want to keep this door locked. Um, let me show you what I mean by I stock my condos. You have everything you need under the sink. You have condiments. Spices, cooking stuff, coffee stuff, um, see, paper plates, plastic silverware. Anyway, everything you need um, so you don't have to buy all that little stuff that nobody wants to have to buy on vacation. So living room, uh, these are both leather sofas and they both pull out into queen uh, beds. So you could sleep a boatload of kids in this living room. It's going to be tight, but you certainly can. And believe me, I know tight because we've got six kids. your view you are truly ground level do not have to worry about the balcony with little kids they are going to pitch into the bushes and that's about it so you're literally uh, what three feet off the ground that's the fire escape that's that stairwell I showed you before the next nearest neighbors right there and they can't see you and you can't see them now this tower next door is south rooms three these uh, south winds towers cannot be rented. They are just people's summer homes, so they are always empty. Uh, you can look at them at night and they're completely dark, even peak season. Um, folks just hardly ever come, not sure why. Uh, this is your view. I'm not sure how well you can see it because it's actually closer than this camera shows you. I'm trying to get it to where, about where I can't even get it close enough, but anyway, the view is actually closer than this. Um, I'm not sure if you can see the blue water, but you may be able to see the sun glancing off the water. The, the ocean is right there. It truly feels like you have a beach house, and the ocean is your front yard. Um, that little bridge is the walkway to the pool and beach. That's the way 99% of all people go to the beach. This walkway in front of you is the handicap walkway. Folks rarely use this. Sometimes if they are dragging a beach cart or a cooler, they'll come down this path. But generally speaking, it is very, very quiet and private in this little corner of the building. So I'm going to go back in the living room. I don't know much about TVs. My hubby does all that. Uh, but as I understand it, nice TV. Uh, you have Netflix and Roku, which gives you internet. All right, this is the master bedroom. And of course, it opens onto the balcony. So this would be your view. Not sure if it's overexposed, if you can see that. Uh, turn you around. Bed. Closet. Uh, I've got everything you need. Uh, always have two pack and plays here for you because I needed to. Uh, and I'm, I guess I'm assuming some people do. 
when you have the kids close together, you do. All right, bathroom, uh, double sinks. Tub shower. Uh, new toilets. I'm picky about toilets. I like the, the higher comfort height toilets that actually flush and don't clog. So that's one of my things. I changed the toilets out immediately. King size bed. Alright, back into the living room. I don't know if you noticed, but the unit's very, very kid-friendly. I do not have glass or anything that can be destroyed um, where the kids can throw it or drop it. Um, the top to that little stump table is acrylic. All right, so this is what's interesting with the layout of this condo. It gives you the second bedroom here, but it gives you this additional laundry room which no other layout gives you. Um, and that's really neat because you don't have the laundry room in the kitchen or in the hallway. It has its own little separate room. Uh, so this is an extra, I guess I call it my laundry closet. Um, I think it was originally intended to be the beach closet, but to me, it made no sense to track through the condo and bring your stuff through it and into this closet and track sand everywhere. So I made the beach closet at the at the entrance there, uh, which I showed you. All right, I stock um, all the laundry stuff you'll need. So I don't want you to have to go out and get it. Um, nice washer and dryer. Um, the other nice thing about this layout is it gives you a sink which is nice for the folks who are sleeping in the living room. They can access this sink, and it's sort of a, like a Jack and Jill, but not quite, bathroom where they can come through this door, close this door that goes into the bedroom, and then access the bathroom. So you have a dedicated bathroom where you don't have to walk through a bedroom um, for the folks in the living room. Uh, so shower again. This is the second bathroom toilet shower, and it's uh, one. It's the second of two. So. All right. So let me show you back again where you are. That's the little laundry area with the too many doors here with the sink. Okay, and the separate toilet shower area. I'm gonna turn you around. And then you have the bathroom area for the bedroom. Now obviously they're using this Jack and Jill style toilet and shower room, but um, they can access it through their bedroom. All right, so sink, um, closet. And then you come in here to the second bedroom. Um, back up here a little bit. Sorry about the finger again. Um, it's a queen bed and a twin bed. Uh, let me back up a little bit more so you see where you are. Okay, so we are coming into the condo. So kitchen to the right, living room, dining. We're going to walk back this way. The uh, little laundry area was right here. And then, if you were to walk straight, you'd be in that second bedroom. So, queen and twin. Uh, a, another balcony door, but you don't have a balcony. You have just a Jack and Jill railing, which is still nice that you can throw open the door. And these folks have a full-size window, and, and that's still a really great view. And same thing, internet TVs. That's going back into that bathroom area. I always keep children's books. 
because uh, it's hard to bring them with you on your travels, and you need them when you got kids. Um, extra blankets in here. And that's it. That's the condo. It's little, but it's it lays out well, sleeps a lot of people, and um, functional. That's the main thing. All right, then I will walk you out to the pool and beach. Just to show you how close it is and how pretty it is, of course. All right, so I don't know if you're timing me, but it literally is 30 seconds to get out to the pool. All right, so back out into the lobby. Those are the doors you came through. Elevators. The doors out to the pool. few steps down to the pool. These are the only steps you will have. And you can always take that handicap path if you cannot do stairs. Alright, so our photo opportunity waterfall, our hot tub, which is always hot. Very nice. This is Southeast Street. That's next door. We've got new pool heaters. We heat our pool to bath water warm, and very, very few properties do that. They may say their pool is heated, but it's still chilly. Um, I wanted to take you here just really quick to show you where the workout room is. It's right there. And it's little, but it has all your basic equipment if you want to get industrious and work out. Uh, the pool is big enough to do a swim workout, and of course, there's always the beach if you want to walk or jog on the beach. Um, it is, I'm going to say it's about 11 a.m., January 7, and it is awfully quiet out here, even though it's beautiful. I would say upper 60s, lower 70s on the temperature. Um, Water's beautiful. I know it's warm. I dip my toes into it. Um, bathrooms. This is our tiki hut. It's not open right now, but it opens in peak season. It serves food, drinks, and basics. That is our baby pool. Around the side of the building there, there's a grill patio. I won't show you that just because it's going to take too long, and I know you're probably tired of this video already. Uh, plenty of chairs for everyone. We've never run out of chairs, which is nice. In a lot of properties, it's just not enough room, not enough chairs, and you sort of have to jockey and fight to get a spot. This is our boardwalk out to the beach, and I've sort of dawdled, so you can't really tell how long it takes to get here, but I assure you it's a really quick trip. I'm going to turn you back around. And show you the building where you are. Alright, so you're going to come out those doors. You're going to come down, down over the bridge, down those stairs, across the tiki hut, um, past the baby pool, on, which would be on your right, and you come to the boardwalk. Sand showers. Um, ADA accessible um, pool ramp, uh, not pool, beach ramp. Uh, 
store, strollers and things over there. Continue on down the ramp all the way to the beach. Actually, there's a few waves. It's unusual for the gold. It's usually like glass, like a lake. Um, I like a few waves, you know, it gives it a little splash, a little color. Drop off my shoes. And then we, okay, let me show you the ramp. That's where we came. That's West Winds. That's South Winds 3. Next to it is South Winds 2. And just beyond it is South Winds 1. The white building you see is Beachside 2. And just beyond that is Beachside 1. You can't see it, but just on the other side of that is the Hilton. Um, that side of the beach, that area is much more crowded because all of the Bayside guests come to that area of the beach. Our beach, today obviously it's very quiet, uh, but even in peak season it doesn't get so crowded like the other end of the beach does. And that's uh, Beach Club, which is a private uh, pool and beach access for owners who want to join. And then beyond that are just private properties, so it we're at the very quiet end of the beach. I'll take you on the beach. You can see a little bit more. You can rent a beach setup. Uh, they that's that's somebody's tent, but that's a rented beach setup. They'll set up chairs and an umbrella for you. They take credit cards. It's a little pricey. I want to say about. 30 bucks a day, they give you a discount for a week. Um, and But I have chairs and umbrellas in the unit, so um, we never run a beach setup, but you can. Uh, looking back, that's West Winds, South Winds 3 next door. That is facing east on the beach. I'm loving these waves. to feed the seagulls in the winter because they're so hungry they'll take food out of your hand. Uh, and now we got pigeons too. But um, beautiful, beautiful January day. accident we put in a bid and they actually take it so um, I say the condos are like the kids they're just surprises so four condos they're all on VRBO I rent them all myself I manage them all myself and I would love to have you guys 4701 this condo Pasco Harbor is my best renter um, it is the flagship um, it's our second condo it has a six-seater golf cart that goes with it and it's everybody's favorite, um, and I hope to have you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.